Well, that's one way to turn vegetarian. Meat lovers across the U.S. are suddenly finding themselves allergic to meat, all thanks to a pesky little bloodsucker. A bite from a Lone Star Tick activates an allergy to the carbohydrate alpha-gal and causes the body to overproduce immunoglobulin E antibodies. Alpha-gal is found in the cell membranes of most mammals and is abundant in pork, mutton, and beef. Eating red meat triggers a reaction that manifests hours later, with symptoms ranging from itching and hives to stomach cramps and even anaphylaxis. So if you're unlucky enough to get bitten, it's sayonara steak and bye-bye bacon. Poultry and seafood, at least, are still safe to eat, unless, of course, you just happen to be allergic to that, too. The spread of meat allergy triggering ticks used to be limited to states in the southeastern U.S., but rising temperatures have caused ticks to spread northward and westward. Scientists have yet to figure out exactly how the tick sends antibody production into overdrive, but suspect it may be something in the insect's saliva. While the allergy currently has no known cure, symptoms may recede over time. For now, it's best to just double up on bug spray and hope to the meat gods you don't get bitten. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. You're allergic to what? Meet schoolboy Junior Rockcroft, who is allergic to his own hair. Ladies and gentlemen, that's meets possibly the most sensitive boy in the world. Seven-year-old Junior Rockcroft, who is actually allergic to his own hair. Allergies are fairly common, but who would have thought that someone can actually be allergic to his own hair? This youngster from Darlington, County Durham in Northeast England has been admitted to hospital more than 50 times in his life. That means he has to visit the hospital roughly every one and a half months. Junior was first diagnosed with asthma and allergy at the age of one after a kiss from his mom almost killed her because his mom just ate a bag of nuts. Turns out he's allergic to pretty much everything. You name it. Horses, cats, pollen, dogs, house dust mites, nuts, and rabbits. According to his mom, Paula Hops, the boy's allergies can cause asthma attacks, and he can even get random asthma attacks if he gets too emotional. Thus, Junior misses a lot of school. Hops is constantly dusting, cleaning, and washing the house to make sure there aren't any dust mites. But it turns that Junior is even sensitive to his own hair follicles. The solution, you ask? He can only make sure his hair is cut short and he can't rub his head. French court recognizes woman's allergy to Wi-Fi as disability. A 39-year-old woman has been granted a disability allowance by a court in Toulouse, France, due to her apparent allergy to Wi-Fi. Marine Richard suffers from a condition known as electromagnetic hypersensitivity and says that exposure to mobile phones, Wi-Fi, televisions, microwaves, and other gadgets causes her severe discomfort. Typical symptoms reported by those with the condition include headaches, fatigue, tingling, nausea, and palpitations. Because of these discomforts, Richard says she was forced to move to a remote barn without electricity in Ariège in the French Pyrenees. Richard will reportedly be receiving 800 euros a month in disability pay for three years following a decision handed by Toulouse court. In a similar case in the United States, a Massachusetts couple are asking for $250,000 in damages after their son's school installed a wireless network which they say caused a 12-year-old headaches, chest pains, nosebleeds, nausea, dizziness, and rashes. Drug allergic reaction peels away 90% of students' skin. A Georgia grad student was left almost blind and without a vast majority of her skin following a rare allergic reaction to a common drug used to treat seizures and mood disorders. Meet Kalia Shaw, a public health graduate student at Georgia College and State University. Back in 2013, Shaw was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and prescribed Lamotrigine. Within a month of taking the medication, she developed a weird rash on her face and noticed her lips were always peeling off. Doctors initially told her she had the flu, but one night she woke up with an excruciating pain and thought she was having a nightmare when her hair, face, and fingernails started to fall off right before her very eyes. Doctors decided to put the 24-year-old into medically induced coma to alleviate her pain and eventually diagnosed her with Steven Johnson syndrome. 
SJS is a rare disorder that starts off with flu-like symptoms and attacks the top layer of the skin, forming a rash that spreads into blisters. It eventually makes the layers of the epidermis shed and fall. The disease is caused by toxins from a drug or an infection, which if not treated can even prove fatal. Shaw woke after five weeks to find 90% of her skin, nails, and nearly all of her hair gone. The brave young woman has undergone a long road to recovery, which has included seizure treatments and months spent at a burn center. 13 months in, Shaw says it still haunts her to think about what the doctors did to her at the hospital. She had to postpone her studies because of her vision and has since started a blog to cope with the impact of her unfortunate illness. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Girl fired for having allergic reaction at work. Some like it hot, but Canadian teenager Danielle Duperio definitely does not. She doesn't even like it mild. The 18-year-old from Saskatoon was fired by clothing store Urban Planet last week when she had an allergic reaction to a bell pepper. Danielle is allergic to the touch and smell of mangoes, which make her hands blister. But hot peppers are her real worst enemy, and even bell peppers are enough to trigger an anaphylactic reaction. So when Danielle ate something on her break that she shouldn't have, she started to choke at work. She hadn't even made it to the hospital when the store manager sent her a message saying she was fired. <laughs> Danielle said she couldn't find her EpiPen, a medical device that provides an antidote to anaphylaxis. She had only worked at the store for two months. The CEO of Urban Planet's parent company said sorry to Danielle and offered to pay her until she finds a new job. But Danielle said she was still waiting for an apology from her former supervisor. Girlfriend allergic to her boyfriend breaks it off. A 20-something-year-old woman in China nicknamed Weiwei went to her local doctor because her face continually broke out in a rash. The doctor asked Weiwei the usual slew of questions such as, are you on any medication, do you have a pet, and have you come into contact with any flowers or plants recently? The answers were all negative. Finally, Weiwei commented that her face always broke out in a rash after making out with her boyfriend and that the symptoms had started around the time they'd started getting physically closer. The doctor ran a test of the boy's saliva and lo and behold, it turns out that Weiwei was allergic to a combination of enzymes in his saliva and his hormones. The doctor told Weiwei that her allergic reaction was just her body's overreaction to her boyfriend's chemical makeup and it could be cured. However, Weiwei figured that getting the treatment would be too time-consuming and expensive. She figured it'd just be easier to get a new boyfriend. Thankfully, they didn't get much further than kissing before they broke up. Allergic reaction to lipstick causes woman's lip to swell. A Florida woman was rushed to the emergency room after she suffered an allergic reaction to a CoverGirl brand lipstick. Lily Cleopatra Maurice recently shared images of her swollen pucker on her Facebook as a warning message to others. Maurice reportedly purchased the lipstick from the CoverGirl Queen collection at her local Walmart. Believing in the CoverGirl motto, Maurice applied the lipstick before bed, feeling easy, breezy, beautiful. But instead of transforming Maurice into a queen, the lipstick gave her dramatic Kylie Jenner lips. Ah! <laughs> Did we say ah? Marie shared the horrifying images of her lip on Facebook. Her bottom lip had swelled to over three times its normal size. She even shot a short video on her way to the ER the next morning. <laughs> Turns out Maurice had a rare allergic reaction to the lipstick, a reaction so bad she claims she could have died. Luckily, she's recovered from the incident and is continuing to warn others of the lipstick. Meanwhile, a representative from CoverGirl has responded, saying the product is perfectly safe. 